Chelsea players have come out to declare just how the team are getting on in the early days under Graham Potter. Raheem Sterling and Ruben Loftus-Cheek have backed Graham Potter to achieve what Thomas Tuchel could not at Chelsea in 2022-23. The Graham Potter era got off to a shaky start after the former Brighton manager suffered what his predecessor warned about multiple times in previous interviews and press conferences a lack of clinical edge in front of goal. Of course, Things were not ever going to just change overnight with the Seagulls taking time to get into full flight before the rest of the Premier League took real note of the South Coast outfit. But in this first act of what is expected to be a long era for Potter, he learned that all players are backing his methods and are eager to force their way into the thinking. It took only one defensive lats from Cesar Othpiliqueta and Thiago Silva for Airbay Salzburg to breach the backline. Despite the disappointing draw, which saw Chelsea remain rock bottom of the UEFA Champions League Group E, Potter only wanted to focus on the positive application of his troops. They gave everything. We've only got a point, and we're disappointed with that, but I was very proud of how they acted today, Tuchel's successor said post-match in his press conference. It's not been easy for them either with the change of coach and everything that comes with that, but their response has been brilliant. They've acted really, really well professional, honest, responsible. So from an effort perspective, it was 100% there. Quality to get there often was good against a good opponent. We have to credit them for how they defended and how they created chances to attack us. But we managed it quite well for the period of the game, and as I said, their goalkeeper has made some good saves, and we just lacked that little bit to get the second goal. Sterling and teammate Loftus-Cheek have backed Potter to do what Tuchel didn't get Chelsea to gel in the attack with his new methods. Something Blues fans hope to see over time as they demand a better package of attacking football from their new manager. It is still early days with him, but he is getting his message across, and the boys are receiving it well, but it's about gelling time, Sterling said via in-house club media. Loftus-Cheek added in a separate interview, it's been really good. They're really nice people. Nice to talk to and get to know what the gaffer wants and how he wants us to play. But that's just from repetition, and it will come. We're enjoying the next phase and really excited. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang and Kepa Ariza Balaga were two more players to offer their full backing to Potter and his new managerial team. After a disappointing draw in his first game against Salzburg and a two-week international break, Potter will now need to wait till October to try and get his first win as head coach.